What is going on, guys? It's your boy Apathy, aka the Donk. And today we're gonna be doing a video top 10 COD pros of all time, a video that a lot of people have been doing. Now, my opinion might be the same, or will it? Well, let's find out. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with number one. And of course, you gotta have the GOAT Crim 6. Now, this guy has 30 plus championships won. This guy's a freaking animal. He finds a way to win every year. This guy has tenacity, talent, and a lot of intelligence in Call of Duty, of course. Now, for someone to surpass him, it's probably going to take a long time. But, man, I've been competing against Krim uh, pretty much my whole career. Obviously, I'm retired now. But that guy is not like sometimes he isn't the most talented on the team. But the way he guides his team and just leads them to victory is just... It's awesome, man. It's awesome to see. Number two, we got Scumper Jumper, another guy I've been competing for or against a long time. He is an absolute animal, best SMG of all time without, you know, without a doubt, man. That guy's a freaking animal. Seth is one of those players that can just take over the game and absolutely just destroy, especially in the SMG category. I mean, he just will basically destroy everybody kill everything and he does it at very well he's good at playing his life he's good at securing kills um sometimes people consider him a little bit slow but i think seth can be very fast and he's just he's just good with his kills man his gun skill and his awareness is just really good um the guys won what one world championship 20 plus championships um i mean an absolute animal man of course you got to give him a number two he just kept climbing the uh the ladder and he's definitely number two man for number three we got clayster my god clayster is crazy man he's out of ordinary this guy has won what three world championships now one of them was online but still it is three world championships this guy has a lot of championships under his belt he's been an absolute menace throughout his career and he obviously still has a lot of gas left in the tank this guy somehow pulls you know teams or victories out of nowhere this guy's been put in weird and bad situation a perfect example was in denial in aw when he teamed up obviously with jcap attach and replays even though the team necessarily on paper wasn't horrible they were kind of like scraps that got put together and they ended up winning champs his will to just win is just incredible i mean you guys see it you know when he's yelling at the top of his lungs he's doing absolutely anything to win and that's, you know, that reminds me of me a little bit. I'd love to see it in a man. Seriously, guy is number three. For number four, we got no other than the GOAT. Damon Barlow, Karma. This guy is another, just, I mean, these guys are all animals. Like, you've saying they're animals, but this guy has three world championships as well. He's, um, he's been an absolute clutch master throughout his career. Obviously, I believe he's considered retired now, but, um, he was absolutely clutch master, has a lot of championships under his belt. Damon at some at times in some games just took over. He was known as a freaking GOAT. I mean, he was considered a GOAT for a long time until I guess Krim, Seth, some of these guys passed him up a little bit. But I mean, I teamed with him uh, many times. I know what he's capable of. Easily one of my favorite teammates of all time and one of my best teammates of all time in talent, knowledge, you know, passion. Like he has like pretty much a lot when he's when he's going 110%, he is one of the best players in the world. And I know you guys know that. For number five, we're going to go with Formal. Yes, my man, Matthew Piper. This guy came into Ghost. I will never forget. Started competing against him. I was like, who is this kid coming from Halo thinking he's all that? Well, he was all that. He absolutely dominated. Um, I mean, he was a pleasure to watch. And he was one of those players that always motivated me, man. Because one, he just worked really hard. He was in eights all the time. He was always putting in time. He cared a lot and he's his talent his gun skill was just absurd and i'll never forget it iw champs this guy like he i'm i'm not gonna say he literally won them champs but he was a big reason big reason why they won champs in iw why we got second place why i didn't get another ring he was a big reason he was absolutely destroying us i mean obviously like we i mean he wasn't like unkillable but he was playing out of his mind i remember he popped like a three piece to secure them a win on a hard point i mean this guy you know when he's on point like nobody's gunning him like he's that freaking good man and hats off to him and this guy obviously don't have to say it but world championship a lot of uh, a lot of championships uh, just in general under his belt he's won so many especially on under optic and the guy just absolute animal man for number six i gotta go no other than patty p another freaking go i love pat and i hate him he can either be the best player in the game or teammate or he can be not that good you guys know that 
I don't want to roast Pat because I think he's a freaking goat and I love teaming with him and I loved our ups. But during our downs together, it was definitely pretty rough. Um, when, Pat, when Pat cares, when he's really serious about something, he cares, example, like at champs, um, and you're getting like the best of Pat, like you're getting passion, comps, teamwork, you know, uh, consistency, you know, he's not being complacent. You know, he's keeps staying composed to like, when you're getting that Pat, like Michael Jordan, Pat, that's like the best man. He, he dude, he is, he reminds me of, um, kind of like Krim, you know, does a good job of teaching the game to the team, uh, understanding the game, uh, knows kind of how to win. And like, I remember Krim always jokes around, but like saying like, oh, Pat was a master and he surpassed, uh, he surpassed him or like he taught him every, a lot or everything or a lot that Krim knows now. Which pretty much true. I think Pat was very knowledgeable when we teamed. And I mean, the guy knows how to win. Number seven, my guy, Jake Cat, man. One of my favorite teammates of all time. I absolutely love Jake Cat. This guy, another, another just knowledgeable, uh, very good work ethic, you know, takes everything extremely serious. Doesn't, you know, doesn't can't stand complacency. Like, I love teaming with Cap. Easily like top two, top two, top three favorite teammate of all time. Um, I just love the caps on your ass. <laughs> like, you know, you're slacking, you know, maybe do a dumb play. He calls you out, bro. He does not care. And you know, you need that on a team in order to succeed and be one of the best teams. And I love that about cap. I love that he always kept me on, you know, kept me on my toes, always expected the best from me and expected nothing less. And I love that about him. And obviously, I mean, you can tell from his career, did very well in almost every single champ. Champs also has, uh, obviously has two rings. Uh, has probably 10 plus championships under his belt. I mean, Cap was never no. I mean, he had his moments early on in his career where he was considered like one of the nastiest players or best player on the team. But obviously, as the years went on, he was never considered maybe the most talented or flashy player. But he always did his thing. I felt like he always performed for the most part when he needed to. And he's so clutch, man. He's so clutch, knowledgeable in the game. Guides his team to victory, making such heads up plays. My man, Cap! heads up plays that you can't you can only appreciate them if you see them or you're a part of it like being on this team whatever you appreciate them man and number eight we got my man slasher another one of my favorite teammates of all time the guy now this guy is absolutely talented man the uh, you know from gun skill to awareness to in-game knowledge to just clutch factor making plays the guy's about it he loves to win. He wants to win more than probably your next door neighbor. I'm kidding. Your next door neighbor probably doesn't want to win that bad, but he wants it really bad, man. The guy's won, obviously, you know, he's won a ring, got second place twice, one with me, one with the hundred thieves, unfortunate, but you know, he's nasty, man. Uh, another player that I absolutely love teaming with. It kind of reminds me of a cap. It's more talented, probably <laughs> cap. I love you. You see this, but. Nah, seriously, Austin, I mean, he's a beast, man. He's a freaking beast. Um, probably one of the best SD players I've ever played with or spectated. And I mean, he's just like, he's one of those smart players. Like, you know, those players that not only are they freaking good, like in terms of gun skill and like awareness, but like just smart, like in-game smarts that leads them to more kills or makes up like makes head, heads up plays for his team. And you want a player who's impactful. You want a player who knows how to win. And he is that guy. And that's why I put him at number eight. So at number nine, we're going to go with a different one. Some of you guys might expect this. Some of you guys may not. We're going to go with Simp. Simp the pit. I don't know if I should say that. Either way, we're going to go with Simp, man. Simp, it's been an absolute pleasure to watch. Another guy that's like, man, he's just so good. And he's he's shown it. You know, he's shown it. He's shown it in the last couple of years. He's won, what, two champs, two time now, I think. Well, he won with the EU. I guess he won this year with FaZe. I guess, I mean, even though, yeah, with FaZe, yeah. I mean, it wasn't considered champs, but it was basically champs. Two-time champion, uh, world champion. I mean, this guy placed second in MW, a whole bunch of championships under his belt already. Top, I don't even know. He's like top four, top three, top two prize earning in literally three years or four years. Like, this guy is absolutely freaking insane and it's crazy how this list consists of people like i feel like a, some of these best players in the world are people who've been like on the top are just so freaking passionate and they're they're passionate and they care so much to the point where they're grinding on stop they put 110 effort they expect nothing less they expect 
you know for them to be at their best and performing and if they don't they're hard on themselves and they keep working hard and that's all like not all it is but it's a big part of why people are successful and doing well and sit man he is that guy dude i love his passion i love how much he cares about winning and how much time he puts into it this man will be in my opinion he will go down as one of the great greatest cod players of all time once he retires he will definitely go up this list and then for the last one i hate to do this because i hate gassing myself up or like i don't know i'm just i don't, I don't like being e egotistical in a way that's just not me and i don't want to sit here be i'm humble this humble that but i really feel like i'm number 10 right now on the list apathy yes me i know i'm making the list i know it's kind of weird in a way but i think i'm number 10 obviously i've had a long career i've had a lot of success at times two-time world champion could have been three maybe four if we beat united in bo4 probably not we probably got like top three but uh it's been a good career had a lot of ups and downs scrappy team still won put in these weird bad situations and I worked hard like i said just the rest of the list man worked hard didn't give up tried my best to stay passionate and composed and keep going and keep pushing through the bad times that's what i always tell you guys man you got to push through those bad times you got to push through those obstacles because it will get better if you if you you know work through them i feel like i won't stay top 10 forever obviously i think in a year or two from now i think a team will easily surpass me or a team i'm a, a player will easily surpass me um but I think, you know, I am top 10 right now. And it's been a great career, man. Again, thank you to all. I guess I could say a little quick thank you message. But thank you to everyone who supported me throughout my career. And a lot of people uh, left me amazing messages when I, you know, officially retired and uh, tweeted out. And, uh, dude, hundreds and hundreds of messages. And I, I couldn't respond to everyone. I read pretty much most of them. But I just want to say thank you again, guys, for the love. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Just trying to keep posting some off-season content until Vanguard comes out. I think I'll, I'll have a lot of fun with Vanguard and be posting a lot of content then. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Also, don't forget to check me out at twitch.tv slash apathy. I stream every day. And I'll probably be telling you guys this every day. Okay, much love. Apathy out. Donk out. AK out.